Welcome to this edition of Tornado Watch. I'm King, Director of Athletic Communications, Travis Chell, here with Nick Bogeman of the men's soccer team. Thanks for joining us today. Hey, thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. Uh, kind of a rough start to the year, but then rebounded uh, nicely with a pair of wins. Lost the first two, but came back with a pair of wins, including one at Emmanuel in a conference game. How key was it to kind of get those two wins early and kind of get on the board and kind of set the tone here for the year? Yeah, definitely. I think, th I think those two wins were super important in terms of uh, team mentality. Starting the season off so mm -hmm. low, um, you know, it definitely affects just the, the morale of the team and being able to respond in a manner like that and get two wins was, was crucial for our season. So Yeah, and then this week, uh, most recently last week, went on a road trip, uh, played Saturday night at Alabama Huntsville and then Sunday at, or Monday at North Georgia. Um, tough loss, had to lead at Alabama Huntsville, one nothing. fell behind, came back and tied it at two and then they scored one late to win it. Definitely. But then uh, on Monday, come back with a big win on the road at North Georgia, 1-0. Uh, mm -hmm. um, talk about the road trip and how coming away with a close win like that was very important. Yeah, definitely. Um, the road trip was good. I thought um, the game against UAH, we, um, I, I thought we deserved more. Mm -hmm. um, but games are made up of temporary moments, mm -hmm. short moments. And um, I, think that, I think there were a few times where um, you know, we switched off for a mm -hmm. second and it, it cost us a goal. So I, th I think our attack did, did, did really well to create opportunities. And um, defensively, uh, I think we, we, we needed to improve there. But um, at North Georgia, oh, a difficult game, obviously two games in uh, mm -hmm. two days. So um, it just felt good to get the win. The, the legs were heavy. and. Um, you know, got the shutout as well for the defense, so that, that's that's good. So. Yeah, it's a big win on Monday for sure. Coming back home uh, as a defender, you've played some up front on set pieces here. Uh, scored a couple goals early on. Uh, kind of talk about what that's that's like going up front and how rewarding it is scoring a couple goals up there. I uh, words can't describe uh, scoring a goal, but um, <laughs> I mean, my first priority is keeping goals out, and um, mm -hmm. I think early on, especially, we can see a lot of goals and. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm happy to help out the team any way I can, but um, yeah, you know, it's, it's a good feeling <laughs> scoring a goal. I, I can't complain. So. Yeah, how's that compared to keeping them out? Is there a comparison there? Or? Uh, I mean, I mean, being a center back, you know, your your priority is to keep mm -hmm. goals out or whatever. But uh, any chance I get to go forward and uh, <laughs> you know score a scrappy goal or whatever, um, you know, I'm I'm gonna take it. And um, to be able to put two in early, um, if it feels really good, my my confidence is high. So. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah, fellow senior Eli Carrasco has a few of those this year. Leads the team with four, had mm -hmm. both of them against Huntsville. Um, how is important has he been to the offense? And I guess the seniors in general, as leaders, leaders on the team, how, how has that group kind of meshed and kind of helped mold some of the new players or helped some of the new players here this year? Oh, definitely. Well, starting with Eli, um, he's been brilliant for us. He, um, he offers a uh, He's very, he's very shifty, he's very dynamic, um, unpredictable. <laughs> and um, I felt like him. And along with our midfield, being able to create, there's our midfield. I, I I rate them higher than any other team in our conference. Like they're so creative, and um, that that group right there can, can, will create lots of opportunities to score. So um, Eli Eli has done really well um, creating opportunities for us, and um, he's you know scored four goals in the year. So and also um, you know the, with the older guys helping out the younger guys, I think. Um, we're in a position where we, we got a lot of younger guys on the field. So um, I think it's crucial like, just to always be in their ear, like, you know, get, boosting their confidence. And uh, I think they've performed outstanding so far. So. Yeah, it's a good start to the year and it can only improve here going forward. Uh, speaking of going forward, a busy week here yeah. for the Tornado. Uh, Sunday at Lander at 2 p.m. Followed by Wednesday, Conference Carolina's matchup here mm -hmm. at Parks Field. Return home for the first time in about a month against Belmont Abbey. And then again at home on Saturday against North Greenville. That's three games in a week here. Mm -hmm. Talk about how important it is to stay fresh and how you stay fresh in a tough week like this. Yeah, definitely. You, you just got to take care of your bodies. Um, you know, see Bill a lot. I, um, mm -hmm. I definitely make an effort to get in there and, uh, you know, just, just relax and um, take care of myself. So and it, it, can be, it can be difficult. Um, three games in what, a span of a week. So mm -hmm. um, I think the boys just going to make sure they're eating right, sleeping. Um, you know, stuff like that. So. And it also helps that two of them are at home, you don't have to travel oh, there yeah, during yeah. the week. Yeah, the bus legs definitely can uh, <laughs> make a difference in the game. So. Yeah. That's for sure. Again, that's a Wednesday, 3 p.m. here at Parks Field. And then again at 3 p.m. on Saturday against North Greenville. Uh, come on out, check out some soccer here at Parks Field on King University. Uh, thanks for joining us and good luck this week. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it.